So uh, we're a public company, so I'll be making forward-looking statements. I draw your attention to this uh, disclaimer. So uh, Oxford Biomedica is a 22-year-old uh, cell and gene therapy company focused on lentiviral vectors. We're clearly uh, very, very pleased that the market is growing uh, with real products that are being used uh, in the market and reimbursed and helping patients. Kim Raya, Lux Donor, and Yaz Carter being the best examples of this growing market. Uh, we have a lentiviral vector platform, which is probably the most widely partnered within the industry, and we formed uh, a number of key partnerships, which I'll run you through. Uh, but the other part of the business uh, that we've always been working on as well is developing our own products. Um, and uh, I'll have one or so slides about that as well. So uh, we're working on the interface of in vivo gene therapy as well as ex vivo gene therapy. Uh, we think that lentiviral vectors and AEV are both uh, very potent and efficient gene delivery systems. They do have different properties, so it's uh, a matter of uh, the best tool for the best job. Uh, we have been leading the way in developing lentiviral vectors for in vivo gene therapy uh, with the first uh, trial done in the world in 2008. So uh, we balance our development in CNS, uh, ophthalmology, immuno-oncology, and uh, through a partnership in haemophilia. So the LentiVector platform uh, forms the basis uh, of the company, which is our proprietary Lenti uh, uh, system. Uh, it's a combination of IP, uh, both patents and uh, uh, know-how that we've accumulated over the last 20 years, uh, facilities, expertise, uh, and quality systems. Quality is key, and having been through FDA inspections, EMA inspections, to uh, support the approval of Kim Raya, uh, we've been through a lot of regulatory hurdles uh, also uh, Canada, Australia, and most recently Japan, with um, uh, Kim Raya being approved in Japan, uh, where we're uh, making the vector. So on the left-hand side, you see our uh, partnership model whereby we help others uh, to de-risk and accelerate development of their programs if they're based on Lenti. And we have a number of different income streams there and quite a few partnerships. And on the right, this is when we use this capability ourselves to develop our own proprietary products and uh, we've got a successful track record of uh, partnering them as well and uh, being responsible for a number of uh, first-in-class uh, developments such as uh, first Lenti gene therapy trial. So we're based in Oxford, UK, just under an hour from Heathrow. Uh, we have three facilities currently uh, on the left. Uh, we're opening a discovery and innovation facility to uh, really focus on being the Lenti powerhouse for innovation for ourselves, for our partners, and uh, whoever else we can enable. And uh, we're going from three GMP facilities to seven uh, in 2020, uh, opening up an 84,000 uh, global commercial hub for, uh, for more Lenti production. So we're in a rapid expansion phase and strongly investing in, in CapEx. So in terms of the platform, um, our partners uh, uh, give us uh, royalty interests and milestones uh, across a number of programs. Clearly, uh, we're best known for our partnership with Novartis, but there are some other key ones we'll go through. So we're the sole uh, vector manufacturer uh, for Kim Raya globally, and that's clearly approved in uh, ALL and DLBCL. And we work on a second CAR-T program with uh, Novartis as well, undisclosed target. Uh, in Parkinson's with Axavant, it's a, a deal I'll talk about later. Um, we work in a lenti haemophilia approach with uh, uh, originally Bioverative, now part of Sanofi. And we have a key partnership also with Orchard uh, Therapeutics on three programs, uh, including their lead OTL 101 for ADA SCID. And we also uh, work on cystic fibrosis gene therapy using an inhaled lenti to the lung with BI and uh, Imperial University, uh, uh, Edinburgh and Oxford. So clearly, uh, uh, Scott Godlieb has uh, made some uh, very uh, supportive statements uh, about the number of approvals that are coming through. And we see that Lenti is uh, getting ever more uptake, not only in T-cell, NK-cell, and stem cell therapies, but also we've brought quite a few people into the in vivo uh, Lenti space through recent partnerships. So in terms of uh, our Novartis partnership, uh, we've been working with them since 2014. Uh, we had a commercial supply agreement signed in 2017, uh, worth over $100 million over the next three years. And because we've licensed our platform to Novartis, um, we receive a royalty on net sales of Kim Raya. 
So it's a very close uh, embedded uh, partnership. For uh, the Bioverative and Sanofi collaboration, this is a lentiviral vector administered intravenously to target the liver. Uh, with the uh, hope and expectation that an integrating vector system can offer something uh, different for patients, uh, targeting the liver for both uh, factor VIII and, and factor IX. Um, and uh, uh, we, as before, had uh, upfronts and, and milestones and royalty on net sales. In relation to our cystic fibrosis collaboration, uh, once again, uh, we are helping others. We did not originate this uh, project, but... Um, uh, this is going to be one of the key programs, along with uh, targeting the liver, that's really driving the need for us as an industry leader to drop the uh, cost of a dose of vector. And I'll refer to that later, where we've made really tremendous strides to, to really change the economics. So in terms of product development ourselves, uh, we... Um, partnered our lead program last year to a company called Axavant, one of the Royvent family, uh, and I'll run through that on the next slide. Uh, we have two inherited retinal disease programs uh, for Stargardt's and Usher's 1B, partnered with Sanofi. Uh, this is replacing the whole gene, which at around six and a half kilobases is way too big uh, for AAV. Uh, the Stargardt's program is in phase two. Uh, the Usher's 1B is in phase one, two. Um, and, um, you know, we, uh, we see a lot of potential for other inherited retinal disorders as well. Uh, to that end, we have um, LCA10 and RP1, which are other inherited retinal disorders, uh, whereby putting back the whole gene uh, has uh, a significant potential for patients. Um, we have our own solid tumor CAR-T program, OXB302, um, and uh, uh, a strong interest in wet AMD. So the most recent product partnership we did was to uh, outlicense uh, a product that we had in development called OXB102, uh, which is the second generation of a Parkinson's program called ProSavin that we put into the clinic in 2008. So Oxford Biomedica conducted a, 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 a trial with 15 patients uh, and saw some very promising results. And then we developed a five to 10 times more potent version called OXB102. In June uh, 2018, we announced a worldwide uh, partnership with Axavant for 25 million upfront and uh, five on uh, uh, some, some process development work um, for a worldwide license to the product. Since then, uh, two patients have been dosed with the uh, second generation product, which is now called AxoLenti PD. Um, and uh, we're expecting that the second cohort is dosed on uh, in Q2. So this is a differentiated approach because this is a lenti that can deliver large payloads. We're delivering three enzymes to convert dopamine uh, to convert L-dopa uh, uh, to dopamine. However, we can also convert tyrosine to dopamine in uh, neuronal cells. So as opposed to having higher peaks and higher troughs we can actually uh, balance out with tonic levels of dopamine, which uh, could have a significant patient uh, benefit. So this is a key program for us, and uh, we are the manufacturing partner, uh, as well as a uh, close collaborator for, for this program. So there's been a lot of talk at the conference about innovation, and people really needing to see that uh, manufacturing partners or CDMOs or CMOs can really innovate to help uh, address the capacity challenges we have in the industry and also the economic challenges of ensuring that uh, Vector uh, is not driving uh, the overall cost of goods for, for cell-based products. So we're very proud to um, invest an awful lot of our revenue in uh, R&D. Uh, on the left-hand side, you can see that we're still working on uh, uh, product development uh, in the I with two IRD programs. Uh, in the CNS, uh, we have an interest in NK cells uh, and respiratory. But on the right-hand side, um, we don't have pictures to show it, but we've really moved away from making uh, lentiviral vectors um, in, cell, in, in, in you know, plastic cell factories. We've moved to a serum-free suspension platform many years ago now with many products in GMP uh, with serum-free uh, suspension 200-litre bioreactor process. 
And this we've seen uh, not a maintenance of productivity per litre, but towards a tenfold increase in productivity per litre. So if the batch price is pretty similar, you're really reducing the vector cost of goods by a log. And this is very transformational uh, for our partners and just as importantly allows us to credibly go after new target organs with Lenti, such as the liver and the lung. So we uh, continue to uh, develop that and uh, we uh, look forward to that being a commercial process uh, very soon. In terms of developing new technologies, we've got a system called the TRIP system, which helps you recover lost titer for Lenti, but also AEV and adeno. Uh, a lot of cargoes are actually toxic when you're trying to make vectors. If, if only every vector was as good as GFP, uh, the world would be a happy place. If you have any problems, please come to us. It won't make something good even better, but if you have a marginal or a, a problematic titer, the TRIP system may help. We're also working very uh, intensively on packaging and producer cell lines for Lenti. Uh, Joe Tarnowski was referring to this yesterday uh, on behalf of GSK, and we share uh, a massive effort there. We've been working for uh, many, many years on this, and uh, we've got some uh, very promising uh, packaging cells to be commercialized, and we're already doing that with some of our partners. This should allow us to take another log out of the cost of goods, we hope, by increasing the scalability um, and taking all of those plasmids out of the GMP supply chain. So in terms of, I'll just have a quick uh, overview of, of financials. Um, as a company uh, listed on the London Stock Exchange, we're looking to grow our top line revenue year on year. And uh, 68 million pound uh, income uh, was our results for 2018. Uh, we clearly have a combination of uh, revenue from manufacturing and process development, as well as licenses on our technology or licenses to our products. So we do have that mixed model in the company. And we are very pleased to actually have a year of uh, EBITDA break even uh, last year. So I think moving forwards, we want to grow top line revenue and uh, maintain positivity on, on EBITDA. So we have two segments to the business, as I said, the platform segment, platform and manufacturing, and the product segment. And uh, that clearly reflects the partnership with uh, Axavant uh, on the right. So in terms of news flow going forwards, the things you can expect to see from us are uh, further programs from Novartis moving into clinical development where we're involved, uh, a growing royalty uh, we very much hope and expect for Kim Raya, uh, where we are the sole vector manufacturer uh, and supplier for all of the global territories. Um, our partners at Orchard Therapeutics are heading towards a BLA in 2020 for their lead program, and we'll be supporting them uh, wherever we can. And uh, Sanofi Bioverative uh, moving towards uh, clinical development. In terms of the platform, we're in a good position to sign uh, new partnerships with other organizations and certainly increasing our GMP footprint and doubling it next year will, will really help us do that. But as I said, we want to invest in innovation. We really do want to come up with the solutions that people might want to license from us uh, in the coming years. Uh, productivity per liter and quality is our mantra. Um, and in terms of in-house product development, we're very, very strongly supporting our, our partners at Axavant to dose the second cohort of patients for Parkinson's disease, we, we think this can be a real transformational product, and we're looking to do more product partnerships um, as well, bottom right. So thank you very much.